squad, check in.
Vibes is very, very beautiful and generous. And they gave us this place to perform in, so good for them. Before we start, round of applause for my man Kenny here. Alright, so Maria thought his name was earlier Candy. So, uh, who here has ever been to an improv show before? So, okay, so the way it works is all throughout the show, we're going to be, I'm going to go down here. All throughout the show, we're going to be asking you guys for suggestions. So, we may ask you guys stuff like, what's your favorite color? And you all would yell out, yellow, white. White from the back. Even though I yelled, move closer, you decided to stay put on that very comfy sofa. If I said, what's your favorite car? You all would yell out, Ferrari, Yoda, Ferrari, thank you, Mike. If I said, what's your, uh, what's your pin number to your credit card? You yell out, what's your car? Mom is off the air. Let is off the air. Mom, I don't know you're stuck in the 40s, okay? He was right! 
Take, there you go. Well, we are nothing without you guys. You guys make make it. You guys are the reason we come out. So we love you guys. We want to get to know you guys a little bit more. So I want to pinpoint one person. Who's one person in the audience we could talk to? We just want to learn a little bit more about you and who you are. We want to get to know you. Who wants to tell us just a little bit about yourself? Some, what's that? Right here? This guy right here with the glasses. Oh, all right. All right. Why don't you stand up, my man? Uh, everybody, big hand, big hand. What's your name? Yeah. Big hand for Roger. Why don't you face the audience here? You're not, you don't have a stage fright, do you? No. Okay, good. All right, down now. All right, Robert. Robert, let's round you out as a person, all right? What do you, what do, you do for a living? Uh, I'm in media sales, so I sell advertising. Sell advertising, all right. Do you, uh, do you have a boss that works above you, or are you the boss? No, I have a boss. Okay, you have a boss. Describe your boss to us. Do you, do you like him? Is he a cool guy? Is he a mean guy? Is he here? <laughs> Robert Goss is here? I just want to make sure he's not here. No, he's a, he's a cool guy. He's a short, little Jewish guy. <laughs> uh, very, very funny. He, he's uh, actually uh, you know, pretty uh, experienced in what he does. Good, okay. good mentor. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, has there ever been a time, though, that he's done something that just really has oh, ticked yeah. you off? Oh, yeah. What happened? Um, he was basically calling me out on, uh, on a particular account, saying that I had not done enough on it. You know. But um, he uh, hey, put me on the spot and was uncomfortable. But I was it in front of everybody? Actually, no, it wasn't. It was in private. So. It was in private. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And I'm guessing this is your beautiful wife right here. Wife. What's her name? Susanna. Susanna. All right, cool. And how long have you guys been married? 20 years. We just wow. been married. Wow. Yeah, that's it. We have two girls. Two girls. What are their names? Ariana and Gabriella. All right. Go on. They, uh, they're in college now? Yeah, they're uh, 14 and 16 years old. Oh, okay. Teenage girls. Cool. Teenage girls. Oh, yeah. Is it a hassle raising teenage girls? So far, it's been great. They've been good girls. Okay, there's no big ring between them. What was one of the biggest fights they've gotten before? Hmm. The biggest fight was probably over clothes. Can <laughs> you tell us more about it? <laughs> I think she probably has more details than I do, but... No, they just, uh, they are very personal about their, their own thing. So when they, when one kind of ventures into the other's room and starts to take their clothes, uh, they make a big deal of it, so. And, and who between you two is the one that always has to step in to fix the problems there? I'm probably more the mediator. All right, cool. Yeah, very cool. All right, and did, have you, did you grow up here? Or? No, actually, born and raised in New York. Yeah. Born and raised in New York, all right. Yeah. How long did you live in New York for? I lived there until I was like 17, and then I moved out, uh, came to Florida, and I lived in L.A. for about 10 years, and then wow. I moved here. So what um, brought you to Florida? Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, they're right. yes, yes, yes. Cool. What was, uh, what was one of your favorite things about growing up in New York? Wow. A lot of favorites, but I think one of the things that I enjoyed the most was being able to go out in the yard, I mean, go out in the street and, and just play, and not worry about you know, people accosting you or Things happen, bad things happening to you like we do today. Right. But you were, so you rode with a pretty cool crowd, oh, yeah. like a tough crowd, like a little rascals. Just a uh, weird fun crowd, you know, not, I wasn't into, you know, any kind of gangs or anything like that, but it was fun. <laughs> did you, what, were you like, did you guys have like one best, did you have like one best friend growing up or you were all, what, what kind of trouble did you guys get into? We used to go to other townships and actually, you know, knock over people's trash cans and things like that. <laughs> All right. Um, let me ask you one more question. Have you have, have you ever broken a bone before? Have I broken a bone? Yes, I have broken my wrist. Your wrist. How'd you break your? Ooh, wow. Well, hot bike. How'd you break your wrist? I broke it playing basketball and uh, just came down, tried to pick my fall, and I broke my wrist. Okay. You landed on someone. <laughs> you landed on someone? No, I didn't land on anybody. I actually landed on the floor and uh, tried to break my fall. And gotcha. Just someone shoved you. Is what you're saying, right? <laughs> cool. Guys, do we have any questions over here? Uh, that you were confronted with that fear the most? Wow. Living in New York, I'm sure you're probably in plenty of buildings. Yeah, there's a, there, there was a time when, uh, when I was able to go up to a top of a building and uh, look down and 
pretty scary. Uh, another time was on a rock overlooking a lake. It was pretty high. And, and a rock? You were in a rock? Yeah, it was a big, it was a big cliff. And I was looking over the lake. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, and it was pretty scary. Did you die? Did you clip that? I did. Oh, right. I did. Screaming the whole way? Yeah, I did. So <laughs> we got a question here. I met my wife actually in Coral Gables, Florida, and it was uh, on a business trip. Oh. Uh, well, wait, what business was it at the time? The same business I'm in now, which is basically I was working for a publication. In, uh, media. Media, yeah. Right. What's your boss's name? Mike Elberg. Mike uh, Elberg. Full name, too. shoot. Wow. <laughs> Any other questions? So, Mike Elberg. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you live in New York during the summer of Sam? No, that was actually, I, I lived in New York. That was in, I lived in the 90s, right? Oh, in the 90s. Uh, was Sam in the 90s? Was it Sam in the 70s? Was it 70s? Live in New York, man! Yeah. It's been a while. It's not every decade in New York. <laughs> Do you have any hobbies that you enjoy currently? Uh, uh, hobbies? I don't have any really that stand out, but I have two passions, and one is wine, and the other one is skiing. Wine is skiing. All right, thank you. All right, guys. Well, Robert, we are about to present to you your nightmare. All right, Robert. What did you do this today to get into the bloody tigers? Uh, I mugged a lady. You mugged a lady? Yeah, I pushed her and I took her purse. Here's her purse. Well, it's well, not my mom's. No, no, I don't want you, man. We just into like kicking over garbage cans <laughs> and like robbing fruit.
tipped on ship. No, I'm pretty sure it was an actual. I'm pretty sure too. I'm pretty sure. It was where you did it. Yes, yeah, where you did it. Yeah, well, last I checked, double dipping a chip or nacho isn't against the law. It is oh. against my freedom and oh, my nice liberty nice. and in a place of historical value. So I did it in Guantanamo Bay. Oh.
Dennis. Are you hitting on me in your last dying moments? Yes, I am.
side is way ruder than this Canadian <laughs> side. <laughs> Yeah. 
supposed to say? I like my women like I like my dead bodies. Somebody else has to tell me what to do with them. Uh, I like my men like I like my dead bodies in their best suit. Yeah. 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 I like my men like I like my dead bodies with rigor mortis. <laughs> Marathon in New York City. <laughs> 